Right, so we have got this new Defender 90 and he's all hybrid. Now, I haven't worked all the hybrid out yet, but someone said, your tricky power takeoff loom, there you go, that takes its power from the overhead console and you've got a sort of ignition live. It's more like an, when you uh, unlock the car live and a battery live. But how do they perform? Because we did a data log of the voltage for the smart alternator and we could see it cutting in and out but with the mild hybrid how does that work so we don't know so we have put our voltage dated logger on here and it is recording at intervals of five seconds and we've got two leads we've got the battery live which i think is the green one and the ignition sort of live which is the red one and we're going to data log both of those we're going to take the car out for a drive and then we're going to come back and have a look at the graph so we're expecting a graph so to sit at battery voltage like 12.5 then when we start the car probably have a dip and then as soon as the car started it will probably go up to like 14 volts but we don't know how does this whole hybrid malarkey work right let's go for a drive and see right so we have plugged the data logger you can see it there we've got a red one we've got a black one into the computer and it sucks all the data that's stored in it and it gives us this nice little graph i'll put the screenshots on the video now but basically you can see it starts off zero that's where we plugged it in and then it, it goes up to about sort of 12 volts here for a bit and then when we start the car um it, it goes up to 15 volts because as the as the battery as the alternators kicked in it starts charging it dips again there not quite sure why maybe we stopped and started it again and that would be the draw from the the um, starter motor pulls the voltage down and then it bumbles along. I think we did a start stop activity here somewhere and it peaks down again. Then we got back, we turned the engine off. So this is the battery voltage, remember? So the battery is not charging anymore. So it's steady state. It just stays at 12 and a half volts all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, all the way along. And you can see the time scale. So we left this over lunch. So for an hour, and then this only drops here because we actually unplugged the tool. So you can see it stays live. You flick to the other screen. So that was the um, battery live. Now this graph is slightly more interesting because this is the what we're going to call the ignition. But it actually wakes up as soon as you unlock the car. So we plugged it in and then with obviously the car was unlocked when we plugged it in because we're in the car. So the voltage shot straight up to 12 volts then when we start the car there's a little blip here but then it goes up and then as we drive the car it's remarkably solid so with this hybrid technology it seems it's it's not doing much of the smart alternator thing as far as the battery can see the 12 volt battery it stays ultra solid and then when we stop the car um it stayed it stayed live for a bit you can't see when we actually locked it here but it stayed alive for a, a few minutes and then it locks the car and then it cuts the voltage. So there is zero voltage until we came back here. We unlocked the car, unplugged it and it went down again. So what do we know? We don't know an awful lot about hybrid, mild hybrid in these defenders. But we do know if we look at the 12 volt battery, it's dead stable. The voltage which just goes up to 14 when we... In fact, nearly 15, it's saying. We can honestly see if we can actually go along the chart, can't we? It's saying it goes up to 14.75 um, when it's charging. So there we go. So you can use all your dash cams, everything with a hybrid as you would a normal vehicle. Perhaps even more stable than the smart alternators. Right, good luck with that.